What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, the Subi fam. Today we got Sylvie, the 350 horsepower WRX STI. We got the wife's build here, and we're just gonna do a little, you know, a little review on it, a full mod list on this thing, you know, what we've got going on to her, how much we've really done to her, how much we've dug into the build, so let's jump into it. All right guys, so we own M's build now for almost about a year, and you know, we actually had, we had a few parts from my build, the, the 2018 STI um, so you know we went ahead and one of the first mods we threw on this thing was the Nvidia R400 cat back exhaust super super nice exhaust you know it's it's the quad tip exhaust um, you know it's perfect Subi rumble it really is uh, you know we got it actually hooked up to the Nvidia catalyst downpipe as well so you know it's a full Nvidia uh, catalyst exhaust um, the exhaust you know it performs absolutely amazing uh, with the catalyst and the full Nvidia like I said it's the quad tip exhaust uh, the Subi rumble it's 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 freaking perfect it really is from outside the car it's it sounds so aggressive it sounds nice and even from inside the car you know sometimes at times the the drone can be a little bit much but if you like the Subi rumble you want to hear that rumble the r400 is an excellent exhaust to choose all right guys so other than you know the exhaust setup the other mod you know that's highly highly recommended is the iag air oil separator um you know it's a full reliability mod you know it just it helps keep the car running the way it should and you know obviously you don't know, just keeps the car reliable and you know running good so ieg air oil separator the competition series is the one you want that's the one that works and you got to get a proper dyno tune for it so. all right guys so now let's talk about you know the 3.5 inch ets titanium beautiful front mount intercooler that you guys see there and uh, you know it's super freaking easy mod to install much easier to install than a top mount intercooler you know I highly highly recommend front mount intercoolers now we went with the 3.5 inch core on this bad Larry it looks freaking absolutely amazing you know and it performs absolutely amazing as well the turbo lag is is really not even there you can't even tell it's that it's got a front mount on it um you know like like I said when, once we got the car tuned uh, it, it performed well so you know attached to the ETS 3.5 inch titanium piping you got the tile blow off valve and that you know obviously you need a dyno tune a proper dyno tune for and it it sounds absolutely amazing for those of you you know who haven't watched the pod video go check out the pod video we'll put that in the top right corner and you know just it sounds absolutely amazing all right guys so other than you know what you see that we got going on here you got the you got the tile blow off valve you got the ETS front mount you got the IEG AO separator we do have the Grim Speed electronic boost controller. You know, you're gonna want that if you're gonna start modding your car. We do have the fourth cylinder coolant mod in this bad Larry. You know, that's also for uh, reliability reasons because you know the fourth cylinder does lack on these cars. So that just, you know, makes it even, makes everything, you know, cool nice and flow nice and evenly. So you, you're gonna wanna install that as well. And all right, guys, so then you're gonna wanna do the Cobb fuel pressure regulator kit. And that's, you know, it's called the stumble fix. It's, you know, just to keep everything running smooth and you know, obviously all your fuel, you want it running the right way. So you're going to want to grab that as well. And now obviously guys, we do have the Cobb access port. It's very needed for tuning and, you know, a lot of dyno tuners use it and multiple tuners use this type of uh, software. So Cobb access port, it's the way to go. If you, especially if you're going to be adding power, adding parts to your WRX or STI, you're going to want to snag a Cobb access port. You know, this was one of the first mods that we snagged for this thing. So and we do have, you know, the Cobb intake. So... She is on the speed density wiring kit as well from the MAF and you know it just gives you a more accurate intake temp and obviously better tuning and you know it makes it a lot easier for the tuner to push a little bit more power in these cars. And obviously you know she is dyno tuned and she did make about 300 wheel horsepower so you know that's really pretty much everything we've done to the, to the motor to the engine parts and performance wise. Uh, so like I said, super, super healthy, super reliable. We've also recently installed the new uh, JDM grill. We have a video out on that if you guys want to check that out. Super nice, super aggressive looking, just a lot more clean looking for the for the front end. And shout out to Zach Gu. He did get us, you know, a carbon fiber fuse box cover. Super, super clean as well. You know, we did do mud flaps when we got her. And she does have the JDM spats as well. We did add, you know, the third brake blinking light as well as a mod. And like I said, she is rocking the NVIDIA R400 with the NVIDIA Catalyst exhaust. So pushing about 300 wheel horsepower, sitting at a really, really nice, healthy setup. So let's let's get some sound clips for you guys. Let's, let's start this baby up and let's get some drive-bys.
All right, guys, so let's get a cold start. I actually, you know, I started up a few hours ago, but it is about 40 degrees outside, so we'll get a cold start for you guys. We'll get some, you know, we'll get some revs going and then a few drive-bys. Alright guys, and remember, if you're liking all of our content and all the videos we've been dropping, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, show us the love, give us the support, Subi fam out baby!